Alright, I don't know if these guys are cool or not. I think waking them up in the middle of the night and pointing a gun at their face is the quickest way to, to figure this one out. And you guys want to hear something fucking ridiculous? I still need more stuff. After expanding the ship, I still need some stuff to actually upgrade it. And I don't even think I've touched the, uh, upgrade in the mech. Yeah, I don't even own the workbench to upgrade the mech. I've just been bumming it off of that guy at the outpost. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I know I made a joke last time about most st Starbound Let's Plays just being five episodes in a row of being nothing but mining, but... I guess I spoke too soon. Look, I'm only mining because I'm really not in the mood to sit around and chop trees for half an hour. Ever since I upgraded this, uh, this mining drill here, it's just been so much faster to just tunnel through everything. And I have this bolter here that lets me kill the ghost, so... So I'm no longer afraid of the haunted moon. As you can see, I can actually mine so fast with this thing that the game fucking lag is trying to render hundreds of pieces of dirt falling. I, I don't really like listen to his music, but it was like, did Pink, did Pink Floyd, did he try to like warn us about the haunted moon? I, he made some whole album about the, about the dark side on the moon. I know Pink Floyd and Starbound are maybe 40 years apart, but that was, that's what made Led Zeppelin's, no. Wait, was it Led Zeppelin, or was it Pink Floyd who made Dark Side of, of the Moon? Oh wow, I genuinely don't know. Whether or not it was Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin, whoever made the Dark Side of the Moon album, he tried to warn us that the Starbound Moon was haunted. It is one of the things that made either Pink Floyd or Led Zeppelin so great was the, his gift of foresight. Unfortunately, that foresight didn't really help him out when a guy shot him with a .38 revolver. Wait, no, that was John Lennon. Wow, I really don't know a fucking thing about music. The only songs that I know exist are the Gojo's Bizarre Adventure Season 3 soundtrack and any song that was in Doom. Man, I could be walking for a while looking for this fucking crystal. Why am I walking? I didn't suffer through shell- oh shit. Yeah, that's right, the ship is kind of fucked up. I really hope flying it through a plasma storm doesn't break the fucking warranty. Nano Tracing is hosting the Thunderdome. Christ, that's a reference I bet only five members of Starbound get. Uh, yeah, you know what? I absolutely do not want to be sponsored by Shellguard. However, I will actually take part in this in this arena match, but representing my own interests. Pugna non perfecta es. Fuck yeah, Ancient Rome ain't got shit on the USCM, baby. All right, round two. Team USCM versus fucking Geo Dude, I guess. Holy fuck! Each one of them is built like a fucking dump truck. Doesn't help that I'm playing fucking Donkey Kong while trying to shoot them. Now I'm going up against Team Shellguard? Oh yeah, this is gonna be fucking awesome. I'm gonna prove once and for all that my stuff is better than their stuff. Hey, nice robot dog, dumbass. I brought people. I also brought a gun, unlike a spear. Chum. Ah, oh, sending magic muppets. Yeah, I mean, I killed their light. The mom one. This should be a piece of cake. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me! Oh shit, they're packing heat. Oh, well, it's another shell guard. Our team I'm going to face. Just in case, I'm gonna stat the, uh... Shit, where is it? Ah, oh, fuck, I left the BFG at home. Well, either your guns are terrible, or my armor is fantastic. I wonder if the Shell Guard people here are, like, rowdy sports fans that just fucking riot anytime their team loses. Like, just utterly crushing their sports team has just caused, like, 
five people to be fucking killed. Like, millions of dollars of property damages. Everyone living in this little shell guard town just went absolute ballistic. Oh, a boss store. This must mean they're, uh, quite the challenge. No, oh, you still haven't fucking learned. You're still using a spear. And everyone in Shellguard should wear the armor you're fucking wearing, buddy. Well, I've done it. I've beaten the Shellguard team in Blood Sports. Who do I have to go to to fit to get my fucking gunship repaired? Okay, right, let's see. Wait, I need auto. What the fuck? Yeah, see, this is exactly the type of shit I was talking about with Shellguard. They don't believe in someone's right to repair bullshit. Same shit John Deere is doing. Anytime your fucking equipment breaks, you have to take it to a certified dealer. And that's the only way to repair it. I have to go buy, buy these things from them to fix it. Just while I'm here, I might as well go buy an actual tank or something. Alright, let's go find some fucking crystal. Oh shit! Hey, I found crystal! I'm not referring to like a stripper. Hey, trip. Oh, never mind. <laughs> what the fuck? There's people down here. The, the inner workings of the planet have gone mechanical. This cave is not a natural formation. Someone must have built it. Alright, I don't know if these guys are cool or not. I think waking them up in the middle of the night and pointing a gun at their face is the quickest way to, to figure this one out. Hey, are you fuckers cool or what? No, I'm not doing random tenant bullshit. Who are you people? Why are you living in some ice cave? What the fuck are you wearing? Why are you living in some fucking ice cave when right next door there's a Massive, ancient, industrial, living metal cave. This is Precursor. I just stumbled across an artificial Precursor world. Never explore Delta Freya 2. Ah, why would I ever take the warnings of a dead alien race? They're dead, I don't give a fuck. Holy fuck. This is a Precursor... Power plant. Hey, strange plant armor wearing people. Did you know you were living right next door to one of the most important discoveries in the history of mankind? Sitting around worried about mining their fucking ice. Less than a hundred feet away, there was an alien power source and tomes of long forgotten knowledge about the, what happened to their race. All right, let's see how Precursor Tech fares up against against the pinnacle of humanity. Ah, oh, shit. All right, we've got some more Precursor shit. Jesus Christ, what's this shit made out of? Damn, I can't even tunnel into it. Wow, so much for manipulating anything that fucking matters, huh? Uh, I need food. Well, I'll... Well, I guess I'll make some groundbreaking discoveries that'll fundamentally change the course of human history after I get some lunch. Maybe if I pour magma onto this. Oh no, I really hope that magma doesn't fuck up the strange... Great, not only did that not work, but now there's fucking magma down there. Aww. Hey, you two! Stop being fucking gay over there. And this is like trying to rip out a stump with a fucking pickup truck. Anyway, apparently I need the microsphere tech to actually get through. Much later. Damn, this is what I use fucking ancient essence for? I don't have enough ancient essence to use this, so I guess I'll just have to fucking bookmark it and come back at a later date, so I guess everything I've done the last, I don't know, half hour is to an hour has basically been for nothing. Hey, stand out of the lava, you fuck nut. Listen, you don't want to end up like Anakin. Guess I'll go back to the surface with the crystals I found. I'll finally be able to 
Shit, what the fuck did I need crystals for? Oh, I needed the crystal to make liquefied crystal. I'll just have got to pull a US and go invade a place for oil. Oh, well, this planet's off to a great start already. You assholes are here. Hey, it's a Florin! Yeah, while she sleeps, I'm just gonna take apart her entire house. <laughs> Look, these people are claiming to be the USCM. I'm already doing that. This is me defending my copyright. Yeah, uh-oh is right. Actually, this, that guy was in, like, a server room. I could have just killed a glorified IT worker who just happened to have a gun on him when he heard an active shooter running through the place. Ah, whatever, he shot first. I'm pretty suspicious of people who just sit around in tar pits all, all day. Alright, buddy, don't make any sudden moves. Holy fuck! He didn't move! Watch your fire. And it'd be so awesome if by using incendiary ammo I just set this whole section of the planet on fire. It'd be even awesomer now that I've discovered Florence living in the tar pits. Uh... Alright, what's your shtick? Uh, no. I will not perform any form of rescue mission. Try and rescue your kidnapped Florin friend from the USCM. I th actually, actually, I think she's in much better hands. Can't imagine business is going very well in the tar pits. Uh, again, I don't really expect the Florins to understand capitalism all that well. The idea of peaceful barter between between two parties is probably a very alien concept to them. Yeah, well, that only makes one of us. Oh, Green Thinger, that's some Florin bullshit right there. I don't care. I don't care about that. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Science. Bill and I would be so proud of me right now. Well, maybe not in the genocide committed in the aim to achieve science, but that's the fastest way to get stuff done. Progress requires sacrifice. Specifically the sacrifice of worthless alien life, but sacrifice nonetheless. 